Yeah, yeah, it really did. I mean, uh, our number one key was take care of the ball. Because, you know, Miami know what to do when they get the steal. And they lead the ACC in steals. And so um, we we didn't make decisions we needed to make in the first half with the ball. They were denying us, being very aggressive. Um, and we didn't handle the pressure well. And they turned us over for 17 points, which was really was the story of the game. You know, we won the second half. Um, other than the 17 points they had in the first half off of our turnovers, they just made some really talented hard shots, you know, which I knew they would do. I said, hey, guys, they got four guys been in college for six Five guys have been in college for six years. They got some good guards. They're going to make some tough shots. Just keep contesting, but keep them out of transition. And uh, so we couldn't do it. You know, second half we did, and we won the half. And, you know, we, we had a good half, but it's a 40-minute game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they again, they, they're a veteran team, so usually a team breaks down on defense if you can get them to play three sides. Top side, top side, top side, you know, going back and forth, making the defense move and adjust. They were a little more mature in doing that uh, than us, you know, because we did break down some in late in the possession, but I think their ball movement and their discipline of, of staying in their stuff, searching for the right type of shots and not settling, you know, they, they did it, you know, that's the, that's the maturity of their team. So, um, you know, we had some breakdowns, but we, some of it was uh, being driven one-on-one, -on -one. you know, not just the shot making, but guys getting driven and we got to rotate and try to bo uh, block the shot with a big guy and not a rotation box out, not a man who try to block the shot, his man tipping him, you know, so just, we needed to be better all the way around. Uh, 80 points is too much for us to give up. That's one of the highest numbers uh, that we gave up in a long time. Uh, probably one of the top highest point totals we gave up on the year. It had to be top three. But they're a good team, you know, so some of that's their talent and their experience. I mean, just kept contesting them. You know, he, 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 started to miss, he started to miss some of those contested shots. He was a lot better than I thought. He was a lot faster than I thought. He was a lot bigger than I thought. Um, he was a he was a good player. He was a load. He one of the top guards in this league, and so um, you can't really see the size and the speed on film. He was a little more explosive than I thought, you know. So he had a really good first half, and then the second half we you know did a better job on him. We started to deny him more in the second half, try to limit his touches, um, just so he couldn't even get a touch. But so Makai, you know, did a great job of denying him. Uh, keeping the ball away from him. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, I've been watching them. I've been watching them all year, and they've been beating everybody. And you know, so um, they've been beating everybody. So I mean, I think they're a good team. They're very experienced. I'm not sure why they don't get as much credit. Um, it don't really matter though because. They'll probably be an NCAA tournament team, and then they'll get their credit once they get, you know, the March Madness. He practiced this week, and so he's moving in the right direction. Uh, we think he'll be available for Saturday, you know. But, I mean, obviously he hadn't played, so how much can he play? Who knows? But we think he'll be available for Saturday. But, you know, he's, he's moving in the right direction. He, he practiced, you know, uh, two or three times this week. And so I think he'll be good Saturday and hopefully for Brooklyn. Right. I mean, I think uh, who did we play last? Clemson. Well, I think I think to be honest with you, some of it was the opponent. Clemson did the same thing that Miami did. They had a bunch of older guys. Guys have been together for three years. And, bo and, and both of those teams, top side, top side, top side, keep probing, keep probing, keep probing, keep probing, keep probing. So they te those are teams that are harder to guard. They try to really be that disciplined and they have that experience. So I think that's really what it was. We played the teams that were a little more uh, mature as it pertains to 
grind and out of progression. Um, you know, but then I think, too, could be some fatigue. You know, it's the end of the year. You know, we were very fresh at North Carolina State. We played really good and really hard. And we were very fresh against Florida State. We played really good and really hard. So we've exerted a lot of energy. And I think it's a combination of, you know, late, ga- late year, probably some fatigue, guys playing a lot of minutes. And then you got to throw in the fact that the opponent being experienced and, you know, willing to grind you for what they want. I mean, I, you know, I mean, he had a really good game. Uh, he had most of his points in the second half, so I don't know. I don't know the emotions that might be going through his mind, but um, at least he had a game to remember. You know, um, would have been nice with a with a W behind it, but you know, three for six from three and twenty one points for him is is a really good night. Eight for fifteen, so he was very efficient. You know, he did some good things, so happy for him. You know, obviously we got a game coming up on the road, and you know we got games in Brooklyn. Hopefully, we can keep playing for a while. Appreciate it, guys. Thank y'all. Have a good night.